What's up? This is Muzza. I'm my whole team muted, and I'm playing free for all with the striker. What's up, dudes? You know who it is. You're on my channel, so you should you should know who it is. This is Muzza using the striker, playing free for all, raping bitches. Get my kill stolen right there. I don't care though, because I'm a fucking G. But I hit mark that dude three times, and the thing about the striker is, uh. It gets it gets you knifed. No, not really. But the uh, thing about the striker is it it y you can shoot it fast, but you can't shoot it like like there is a break in between. And look at that! I hit marked that guy literally five times before he died. Uh, so uh, I don't recommend hardline like I'm using right here. But uh, I should have put stopping power. But I'm not really worried about it, and I'm not taking I'm not one of going to be one of those guys that takes their commentary super seriously. It needs a rape kill death ratio. Uh, as long as the KD is above three. That's a good KD. That's just fine for commentary. I'm not worried about it. Uh, if you guys don't think I'm good, <laughs> watch some of my 37 and one or 41 and one games. I mean, it, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna have more rape games, but I've been straying away from assault rifles and automatics in general lately. So, so I haven't had any any like out of this world games other than my model game, which you guys are gonna see. Uh, uh, I'm gonna try to one up it hopefully and get over a hundred kills with the models. So, uh, for the how to pwn with the shotguns, there might be some different guns in between. But uh, I'm gonna go for a hundred plus kills in one game with the model 1887s. Uh, but now, I heard that they've reduced the range. So, can you guys tell me about like? Can you tell me in the comments on this video what have they, what have they done to the to the models? I, I, I don't. I haven't been on Xbox lately because I'm in Christmas break, but uh, I just haven't seen what's been going on with the Model 1887s, and now I don't know if I'll be able to get a 100 plus kill game with them if, if they took the range down, they won't be as good, but uh, yeah, that'll suck I guess, but as long as they're still good, maybe I'll try it, because they're still a great run and gun weapon, just like any shotgun, but uh, my tips for this shoddy, and shoddies in general, is if, you, if, you wanna, if you're going for a good KD, uh, play your corners. Cause that's how I get this AC-130 right here. Is you just yeah, once you're getting up to that streak that you want, watch your corners. That's the biggest thing. But uh, I chose the AC-130. I could have done better with the chopper gunner, but I have more fun with the AC-130. And the game's about fun, so yeah. <laughs> Used that. And uh, uh, I think my next commentary is with the Rangers. I went like 44 and 10, and that's still. Like just as good of a commentary for me. I mean, I don't. As long as it's over 3.0, I'm not too worried about it. As long as the gameplay is action-packed and the commentary's comedic and witty and teaches you about life and Call of Duty, I'm not. I'm not too worried about uh, the scores and stuff. And uh, I'm. I'm a first-person shooter veteran. I've been playing FPSs forever, and I play on 10 sensitivity and tactical layout if you guys were wondering I've been getting a lot of questions about that so uh, if you see me drop shot even with a shotgun that's why uh, it's just complete instinct most of my shots you'll see me lay down uh, that's just all out of uh, just doing it over and over but it doesn't look like I did right there it's just trying to build more streaks and I didn't have any didn't have any more ammo on my striker but that motherfucker kills me from I was all the way across the board before somehow I died. I, I hate the death lag in this game. I've seen some videos of uh, some people who've been like running around corners and then they get shot. A model 1887 shot at them all, while they're already all the way around the corner and then they die somehow. And that is no fun. So I don't know. Hopefully they fix that. But I kind of wish that the model still had the range. I think every game should have some overpowered guns. Uh, keeps it keeps it crazy. People are getting crazy clips with those things when they were overpowered. Nobody's going to hit a quad shotgun anymore. Nobody's going to hit crazy like back-to-back -back triple shotties. Uh, so I don't know. I think they could have they should have kept it overpowered if but uh, everybody's taking it so seriously and getting so mad that they're dying to it, I guess. I guess they had to take it out. And I'm playing the chasing game with this dude and I I don't know where he went, so so that sucks. <laughs> uh Man, I'm giggling like C Nanners. Have you guys ever noticed? On C Nanners commentaries, he uh he'll giggle, but he won't follow through with his laugh. He'll just go, and that's how I met my first wife. <laughs> and then just keep talking. Uh, but I always pictured C Nanners before I saw Adam, and Adam's a cool guy uh, with a sick beard. 
But I always pictured him being like 40 or 50. <laughs> like I thought he was old. But uh, anyways, off of the scene enters being old, back to commentary. I just got a really cheap death right there. I should have... Most of, most deaths in this game are avoidable. Um, if I get a, a death that was unavoidable, I don't complain about it, but this game has a lot of, like any of the Call of Duty franchise, there's a lot of avoidable deaths and there's a lot of random, <laughs> like just random things that happen in this game. So many millions of people play this game that just so much random crap happens. And uh, now that more and more people are getting capture cards, you're getting to see crazy and crazier stuff on film, like uh, that uh, javelin glitch where the javelin like did five backflips before it came back and killed the uh, the same guy that shot it. Or people are hitting these like collateral thumpers and things like that, where thumper hits someone and then bounces off somebody else's toe and kills them both. Some really cool clips going around for this game, but uh, managed to steal this guy's care package because he was being an idiot and. Uh, thought it would be a good idea to call it and just camp and wait for it and not guard his perimeter. Because uh, if anybody has a Turtle Beach headset, or any headset for that matter, there's a lot of headsets. There's Trident and Astros. But if anybody has a good headset, you can hear care packages from across the map. Once I hear that, I go right towards it, no matter what. Because you know there's going to be uh, a guy or two there. It's a free kill because they'll be too busy trying to loot their shit. But, uh... I think it's just about wrapping up here. This is a pretty long commentary for a shoddy, but uh, I think I uh, end up just completely destroying these kids uh, as far as comparing my score to everybody else's score. So, uh, Some people have been ragging on my commentary uh, just a little bit. I mean, they love the commentary, but the, the scores lately, just because the scores haven't been what they're used to seeing, like the crazy, like, 37 and 1 and shit like that but I'll, I'll go back to try hard and nuke setup and things like that here when I go back home but uh, right now I'm just playing Nintendo 64 games hanging out with my girlfriend and hanging out with Fuzza and just doing a lot of real life stuff whoa that is the first time my voice has ever cracked in a commentary ladies and gentlemen this is groundbreaking I'm 18 years old uh, moving on <laughs> uh, yeah but yeah, I haven't been playing any COD because I can't record. Uh, the only place I can record is if I go to Fuzza Muzza's house and I record my hard drive on his HD PVR so I can start getting HD clips. Um, and if you are one of my fine subscribers that watch my videos all the way to the end, uh, I'm going to give you a little heads up right here that not many people will know. I'm doing an HD dual-tage giant project. We are going to have it two or three parts long. It's going to be me and Fuzza Muzza. It's called Blood Brothers. I know it's not a very original name, but name does not make the Taj. Uh, we are going to have, we're going to go for the most phenomenal clips we can for any Modern Warfare 2 dual Taj. And uh, we're going to go for a quad spread with each weapon, a triple with each sniper, a whole bunch of crazy shit. So I hope you guys look forward to that. We're going to try to get that on a huge site as well, a huge uh, media channel. But uh, have fun watching this game-winning kill. My name is Muzza. That was How to Pwn with the Striker. And I love you guys.